Hausa language, Hausa, Yaran Hausa or Harshan Hausa, is the Chadic language, a branch of the Afroasiatic language family, with the largest number of speakers, spoken as a first language by some 44 million people, and as a second language by another 20 million. The total number of Hausa speakers is estimated at 63 million, according to Ethnologue. The ancestral language of the Hausa people, one of the largest ethnic groups in Central Africa, Hausa is mostly spoken throughout southern Niger and northern Nigeria. It has developed into a lingua franca across much of Western Africa for purposes of trade. Hausa belongs to the West Chadic Languages subgroup of the Chadic Languages group, which in turn is part of the Afroasiatic language family. Native speakers of Hausa, the Hausa people, are mostly found in Niger, in northern Nigeria, and in Chad. Furthermore, the language is used as a lingua franca by non-native speakers in most of northern Nigeria and southern Niger, and as a trade language across a much larger swathe of West Africa, Benin, Ghana, Cameroon, Togo, Ivory Coast, and parts of Sudan. Eastern Hausa dialects include Doranki and Dora, Kanansi and Kano, Bausanki and Bauchi. Gutteranchi and Katagam Masan part of Borno, and Haiti Jansi and Haiti Gia. Western Hausa dialects include Sakwatansi and Sokoto, Katsinansi and Katsina, Arvinsi and Gaber, Adar, Kebi, and Samfara, and Kerwinsi and Kerfe in Niger. Katsina is transitional between Eastern and Western dialects. Northern Hausa dialects include Ariwa and Darazi. Zazagansi and Zazao is the major southern dialect. The Dora, Dorangi, and Kano. Condensi, dialect are the standard. The BBC, Deutsche Welle, Radio France Internationale and Voice of America offer Hausa services on their international news websites using Doranchi and Condensi. In recent language development Zazagansi took over the innovation of writing on speaking the current Hausa language use. The western to eastern Hausa dialects of Kerwinsi, Darigaram and Adarawa represent the traditional northernmost limit of native Hausa communities. These are spoken in the northernmost Sahel and Mid-Saharan regions in west and central Niger in the Tiiloberi, Tahu, Daso, Marathi, Ankades and Zinder regions. While mutually comprehensible with other dialects, especially Sakwatansi, and to a lesser extent Ga'anansi, the northernmost dialects have slight grammatical and lexical differences owing to frequent contact with the Zarma and Tuareg groups and cultural changes owing to the geographical differences between the grassland and desert zones. These dialects also have the quality of being non-tonal or pitch accent dialects. This link between non-tonality and geographic location is not limited to Hausa alone, but is exhibited in other northern dialects of neighboring languages, such as the difference within Songhe language. Between the non-tonal northernmost dialects of Koerishini and Timbuktu and Koeriburo Seni and Gao, and the tonal southern Zarma dialect, spoken from western Niger to northern Ghana, and within the Sanank language, between the non-tonal northernmost dialects of Imregan and Nemedi spoken in east central Mauritania, and the tonal southern dialects of Senegal, Mali and the Sahel. The Ghanaian Hausa dialect, Ga Odensi, spoken in Ghana, Togo, and western Ivory Coast is a distinct Western native Hausa dialect block with adequate linguistic and media resources available. Separate smaller Hausa dialects are spoken by an unknown number of Hausa further west in parts of Burkina Faso, and in the Hausa Falain, Banji Hausa, Geza Hausa, and Ansongo districts of northeastern Mali, where it is designated as a minority language by the Malian government, but there are very little linguistic resources and research done on these particular dialects at this time. Ga'anansi forms a separate group from other Western Hausa dialects, as it now falls outside the contiguous Hausa dominant area, and is usually identified by the use of C for KY, and J for G. This is attributed to the fact that Ghana's Hausa population descend from Hausa Fulani traders settled in the Zongo districts of major trade towns up and down the previous Asante, Goni and Agamba kingdoms stretching from the Sahel to coastal regions, in particular the cities of Tamale, Salaga, Baku, Bolkatanga. Akimoda, Nima, and Kumasi. Ga'anansi exhibits noted inflected influences from Zarma, Gur, Gula, and Sonank, as Ghana is the westernmost area in which the Hausa language is a major lingua franca, as well as it being the westernmost area both the Hausa and Jerma ethnic groups inhabit in large numbers. Immediately west from Ghana, in Ivory Coast, Togo, and Burkina Faso. Hausa is abruptly replaced with Diaula Bambara as the main lingua franca of what have become predominantly Mandinka areas, and native Hausa populations plummet to a very small urban minority. 
Gurinmonde. Because of this, and the presence of surrounding Akan, Gurinmonde languages, Ga'anansi was historically isolated from the other Hausa dialects. Despite this difference, grammatical similarities between Sakwatansi and Ghanaian Hausa determine that the dialect, and the origin of the Ghanaian Hausa people themselves, are derived from the northwestern Hausa area surrounding Sokoto. Hausa is also widely spoken by non native Gurin Monde Ghanaian Muslims, but differs from Ga'anansi, and rather has features consistent with non native Hausa dialects. Hausa is also spoken in various parts of Cameroon and Chad, which combine the mixed dialects of northern Nigeria and Niger. In addition, Arabic has had a great influence in the way Hausa is spoken by the native Hausa speakers in these areas. In West Africa, Hausa's use as a lingua franca has given rise to a non native pronunciation that differs vastly from native pronunciation by way of key emissions of implosive and ejective consonants present in native Hausa dialects, such as d, b, and k. /K which are pronounced by non-native speakers as D, B and K respectively. This creates confusion among non-native and native Hausa speakers, as non-native pronunciation does not distinguish words like, correct, and, one by one. Another difference between native and non-native Hausa is the omission of vowel length in words and change in the standard tone of native Hausa dialects, ranging from native Fulani and Tuareg Hausa speakers omitting tone altogether to Hausa speakers with Guru or Yoruba mother tongues using additional tonal structures similar to those used in their native languages. Use of masculine and feminine gender nouns and sentence structure are usually omitted or interchanged, and many native Hausa nouns and verbs are substituted with non-native terms from local languages. Non-native speakers of Hausa numbered more than 25 million and, in some areas, live close to native Hausa. It has replaced many other languages especially in the north-central and northeastern part of Nigeria and continues to gain popularity in other parts of Africa as a result of Hausa movies and music which spread out throughout the region. There are several pidgin forms of Hausa. Bari Konki was formerly used in the colonial army of Nigeria. Jaibanawa is currently in widespread use in Jega in northwestern Nigeria, south of the native Hausa area. Hausa has between 23 and 25 consonant phonemes depending on the speaker. The three-way contrast between palatalized velars, plain velars, and labialized velars is found only before long and short, for example, grass, to increase, shea nuts. Before front vowels, only palatalized and labialized velars occur, for example, jealousy, versus side of body. Before rounded vowels, only labialized velars occur, for example, ringworm. Hausa has glottalic consonants, implosives and adjectives, at four or five places of articulation, depending on the dialect. They require movement of the glottis during pronunciation and have a staccato sound. They are written with modified versions of Latin letters. They can also be denoted with an apostrophe, either before or after depending on the letter, as shown below. Hausa has five phonetic vowel sounds, which can be either short or long, giving a total of ten monophthongs. In addition, there are four joint vowels, diphthongs, giving a total number of 14 vowel phonemes. In comparison with the long vowels, the short can be similar in quality to the long vowels, mid-centralized to or centralized to. Medial can be neutralized to, with the rounding depending on the environment. Medial are neutralized with, the short can be either similar in quality to the long, or it can be as high as, with possible intermediate pronunciations. Hausa is a tonal language. Each of its five vowels may have low tone, high tone or falling tone. In standard written Hausa, tone is not marked. In recent linguistic and pedagogical materials, tone is marked by means of diacritics. An acute accent may be used for high tone, but the usual practice is to leave high tone unmarked. Hausa's modern official orthography is a Latin-based alphabet called Boko, which was introduced in the 1930s by the British colonial administration. The letter Y, Y with a right hook, is used only in Niger, in Nigeria it is written Y, tone, vowel length, and the distinction between and, which does not exist for all speakers, are not marked in writing. So, for example, from in battle are both written Daga. Hausa has also been written in Najami, an Arabic alphabet, since the early 17th century. The first known work to be written in Hausa is Riwaya Arnabi Musabi Abdullahi Suka in the 17th century. There is no standard system of using ajami, and different writers may use letters with different values. Short vowels are written regularly with the help of vowel marks, 
which are seldom used in Arabic texts other than the Quran. Many medieval Hausa manuscripts in Najami, similar to the Timbuktu manuscripts, have been discovered recently, some of them even describe constellations and calendars. In the following table, vowels are shown with the Arabic letter for T, as an example. Hausa is one of three indigenous languages of Nigeria which has been rendered in Braille. At least three other writing systems for Hausa have been proposed or discovered. None of these are in active use beyond perhaps some individuals. 17. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.